we have discussed so far the Salesforce standard feature like the sales cloud and how to create objects and all the basic stuff. So from this video, we're going to discuss about the advanced configuration topic, right? It's going to be more conceptual thing. So every single word is important. So make sure you're, you have your pen and paper with you and whatever you're learning, you're just noting it down in your pen and paper. Okay, so let's get started. We can talk about a relationship, right? Um, and Salesforce, Salesforce is basically what it's a it's a database where um, you as an admin, you are configuring the database with something called object. We don't have table here. There's nothing called table. We don't call those, um, um, you know, entity as table, like how you call in other database. We just, we just call those entity as an object, right? So you as an admin, have configured pretty much all the objects right now uh, we need to know what are these relationship right what kind of relationship that salesforce has and which relationship is helpful for what kind of scenarios salesforce basically has two different type of relationship one is lookup relationship one is master data relationship these are the main uh, uh, main main relationship types uh, apart from that, we have a couple of more, which we will discover. These are the basics relationship, right? So let us get started with lookup relationship. Okay. Uh, before we start uh, the lookup and master and everything, let us understand that what is the use of this relationship? Why you as an admin have to build these relationship between these objects? Okay. Let us just see how the relationship look like, by the way. Okay. So if we remember, we discussed the account contact opportunity management in the sales cloud, where we discussed like one account may have multiple contacts or multiple opportunities, right? So how it looks like if I open the account, this is the parent account object, which has two child contacts or two opportunities so opportunity and contact is basically the child object and who is the parent account is the parent so what happened when you create a child record let's create a new child record okay so i'm gonna go and create a new contact when you create a new contact suppose the contact name is rajesh you have to give here the account name right so you're creating a child and you're you're populating okay this child belongs to which parent correct so you're giving here uh, the existing accounts name so basically parent it's something which will be created okay and child record is something which will be creating so while creating the child record you are i mean the business will provide who is the parent for this child got it so i'm gonna create the contact child record and while creating this contact child record i have to populate here who is the account which is the account so account here is the parent because account record has already been created and while creating the child i mean the contact i have to select here who is the account make sense same thing like for opportunity when you create a new opportunity here also same thing you give the opportunity name and here you provide the account name so opportunity is the child of account right when you say child of account basically what happened is um you are building relationship between two records okay it is not between two fields it between the records between the objects account and opportunity both are in some relationship okay look up or master we will see that later but some relationship and when you create a child record, okay, you're populating over okay, this child record belongs to which parent record, right? Just to make it more crystal clear, let us go back to our example, right? With, I'll just open up the same Excel sheet that we were discussing. This was the Excel um, sheet that we had created and we had onboarded the outlet object, the revenue object, the head office object, and the employee object, correct? Now, these objects should have a relationship in between. Okay, example, let's say we discussed that every single outlet should have revenue, correct? So let's say there's an outlet called uh, Bangalore India uh, outlet, okay? That outlet will be having every month revenue record created, which says that one outlet will have multiple revenue data. So outlet is going to be the parent here and revenue is going to be the child object here. Okay, same way, Suppose one head office, India head office, will have many outlets. So 
India head office is nothing but the parent record and under the India head office whatever outlets that we have is nothing but the child records okay and head office is the parent object and outlet is the child object in the same way if we discuss outlet and employee see here every outlet has a field called manager an outlet has a manager and guess what manager name we are not hard coding instead we are just repopulating from the employee so outlet and manager will be in a relationship okay and uh, who is the parent who is the child here remember whenever you select first um, remember how do you decide who will be the child who will be the parent because that this is the very first thing that you have to decide between these two object okay so when you find out okay i need to establish a relationship between two objects you first have to find out who will be the child and who will be the parent and before that you have to decide why do i have to create the relationship why so in this scenario see uh, as we discussed outlet manager we are not going to hard code instead we are going to repopulate i mean the data the manager let's say the manager is rajesh is already there in the employee table okay the business user will just populate the manager name from the employee table so you have to establish the relationship between employee and outlet right this is where relationship is required but when you talk about who will be the child and who will be the parent object how do you decide is this okay see employee i mean the parent record will already be created so rajesh is the employee okay rajesh's data will already be there in that object while creating an outlet while creating the child record you have to select who is the parent i mean who is the manager so employee in this situation right employee will be the parent object and head of uh, outlet will be the child because employee data will be created and while creating the outlet data you are selecting who is the manager in the other way revenue and outlet what do you think who should be the child who should be the parent revenue and outlet i guess that you are also thinking what i am going to talk right so revenue is something which will be creating outlet is something which will be created there is an outlet called um bangalore india same outlet okay bangalore india outlet okay and that outlet data will be created and every month what as a business user will do you will just create the revenue okay this month january 2021 this is the revenue february 2021 that's the revenue so every time when you create the child record child revenue record you are selecting okay this child this revenue record revenue data belongs to which parent record the revenue record that i'm creating belongs to the bangalore india outlet parent record i hope this theoretical part is pretty much clear let's go ahead and uh, do some practical and see how does it work